dude, you did wrong. So make it right. So make it right. You did wrong. So make it right. Buyers, be aware of this dude. This dude is selling dogs to people without papers and costing a lot of money for his dogs. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Stop always lying, bro. Keep it real with somebody in Georgia. It's this dude in Georgia that you didn't keep it real over two months. Over two... Um, I want to take time just to make a video in reference to my experiences getting into dog breeding um, so I can pass on beneficial information to those who are looking to invest in dogs um, from purchasing other dogs from other breeders um, and some of the different aspects of what I went through. So hopefully it could be of some use to those who are uh, trying to get into breeding uh, or if you're looking to buy a pet and you want pets that's documented. Um, recently I purchased three dogs um, from two different breeders. Two from one breeder, one from another one. Um, the, the one breeder that I purchased two dogs from was Old, old Red English Bulldog. Um, fine organization, I have nothing but positive things to say in regards to them. Um, the other uh, person that I bought a dog from was um, Ultra Class Kennels. And I wanna kinda of focus a little bit on my experience with that particular incident because I think it's important that people understand uh, that if you are looking to get into breeding, uh, first of all, there is a cost aspect of obviously when it comes to um, purchasing a dog for breeding. And you're depending on the person who you're purchasing the dog from to represent certain things and then you know to, to come through with whatever uh, promises they have in regards to what uh, are stipulated in whatever agreement is made. And I think it's important because in my, in my particular instance, this particular dog here I bought, which is a great dog, he's a beautiful dog. Uh, the problem is, is that I've yet to receive paperwork on the dog, and it's been two months later. And I think, uh, I, when I bought this dog back in February of, February 7, 2018, and here it is now, by April the 13th, I think it is the date, uh, and I've yet to receive my papers on this dog. Um, I'm not gonna get into specifics in regards to the back and forth, I think if you use your imagination, uh, you know, you could probably come to some conclusions that wouldn't be uh, completely out of whack. But long story short is, is, is that, you know, regardless of how much money you're investing, when you, when you purchase these animals, uh, you know what I mean? It, it takes, you know, it takes your resources to invest. And so long story short is I wanted to, not to just make a video to try to criticize someone's business tactics, but just to alert those who are looking to purchase dogs, that they really look at different recommendations. One thing about it is just like anything else, there's a lot of different people doing different things in the world, across this country, when it comes to different business transactions and how they perform their uh, businesses and, and how they handle their business. But one thing I wanted to relay is, um, is that you know, you, you really should take con close consideration to recommendations. Like I said before, uh, I've done a previous video uh, complimenting the other breeder that I re referenced earlier in my, in my whole speech, if you want to call it that. And, you know, like I said, positive, positive remarks. Unfortunately, my other experience has been negative. Um, this is Roy. Um, and like I said, he's, he's a dog that was, uh, come here, Roy. Roy, come here. Roy, come here. Roy is a dog that uh, I purchased from this breeder, like I said before, Ultra Class Kennels. And like I said, he's a beautiful dog. I have nothing negative to say about the dog himself. It's just a simple fact 
that I've yet to receive the paperwork on the dog. And, I, and I'm, I'm doubtful at this point, uh, you know, if the paperwork will, ar will arrive. And like I said, I don't want to get into specifics, but what I'm trying to do is just make a video, first of all, to give some enlightenment to those who are looking at different breeders. And it's not like I said, not to pick and say, definitely choose this one. Come here, Roy. Roy, come here.